where the fuck are you going? Where the fuck are you going? Staring at a phone or something. So, on the hunt for David Attenborough. So, there's a group of artists called Subset, and they painted this mural of David Attenborough recently on a house somewhere here in Dublin 8 on uh, Longwood Avenue and because they did it without permission the council wanted it removed so I thought we'd try and find it before it's removed because I don't know if there's a court case about to go on or they're just going to remove it because they don't need permissions from the court whatever but I saw some pictures online of it and some articles and it looks pretty cool so I thought before it disappears forever we go and try and snap a picture with it. The thing is, I have to find out. I'm not 100%, I'm pretty sure. Ah. Uh, fuck it, let's go. Longwood Avenue is around here. Apparently it's pretty big, so it's going to be hard to miss. I think this is it up here on the right. Oh yeah, holy shit. Wow. Man, that is kick ass. Oh, it's high curb. Here we go. Holy crap, that is epic. And like, it's not advertised anything, it's just beautiful. Like, I understand that they got their knickers in a twist about it selling something. But, that is just all kinds of awesome. I like, I believe that the the owners of the house it's painted on, they have no problem with it. It's just the council getting their knickers in a twist about something being done without their permission. I hope they let it stay. I hope there's an appeal and it's successful. Because that's beautiful. the bike is filthy. weather has been shit lately, so it's no surprise. Oh. Go 
for the arty shot, will we? As well with a few minutes detour. Yeah, hopefully that stays. I mean, stuff like that, right? There is, there's not a massive graffiti problem in Dublin, but we do have problem little black spots. But stuff like this, you know, if someone puts up something nice, it tends to get tagged very quickly by just arseholes. But. This one has remained clean, it's been up a while. So at least whoever is tagging stuff respects it enough not to ruin it. And we need more stuff like that around the city. There's parts of Dublin that are absolutely beautiful. Even like looking around like that old church there. These old kind of Georgian style houses and stuff which a lot of them are being renovated and looked after, which is great because it means they'll last that much longer. But there is a lot of blank space in the city. And stuff like like that mural, that's just that's gorgeous. I mean, you know, you go out of here, if that was I'd go to my way to photograph something like that if I was visiting or even just come across it randomly. It's cool, like that's the kind of photo you put up and keep a memory of and stuff and you remember about your time in Dublin. Yeah. Fingers crossed they let it stay. Yeah, I see you, taxi man. You see me. Yep. I mean, it's all well and good to have these new areas like the IFSC and stuff where new buildings and things are coming online. You know, there's a place for that. It's all complete glass fronts and stuff, and steel and nouveau designs and blah blah blah. But a lot of what Dublin make, what makes Dublin Dublin, is the historic buildings we have. Um, and so that house that that mural is actually painted on is a protected structure because how old it is, and you know you can't make any structural changes to it without jumping through a lot of hoops, and that's important. But that mural has no impact on the structural integrity of the house. I mean, they're not painted with acid, you know. And like in time, that'll weather and it'll fade, whatever. But I think something like that, yeah. Something like that, that doesn't impact the physical integrity of the building, should be fine. Fingers crossed, cooler heads will prevail. And in fairness to Dublin City Council, like they are doing, they have a little uh, project called, oh, I can't remember what the name it is, but basically they're inviting artists to submit design applications for like electrical boxes and stuff around the city. And then if you get your design approved, you're allowed to go paint it and it's all signed off by the council. And that's fine. That's just, so, you know, someone in there is taking the right approach. So, you know, I can understand they don't want people around just doing like, there you go. There's one of them. That's cool. That's just an electrical junction box. But look how bright, look how much better it looks. It brightens up the city a little bit. So someone is taking positive steps. Um, turning everyday objects that otherwise, you know, hopefully you're not, you don't see, like, electrical boxes, but turning the little attractions. So, you know, I understand why they want people to go through the proper procedure and get permission and stuff like that but look at the time and effort that went into painting that mural like it's no small thing and it's it's beautiful yeah. anyway I'm rambling I'm gonna finish up here hopefully hopefully let it stay what do you think folks let me know down in the comment section below if you think it should stay should it go I'm interested to hear your thoughts all right have a good one